Hello, welcome back to another episode of The Real Effect. I am Mia Danae, and I am here with the young actor star, um, Ian Foreman, who is one of the stars of Showtime's Let the Right One In. We are going to be talking a little bit about his role and also what he has planned for the future. Let's start at the beginning. So I heard that you started your acting career during the pandemic. Yes, ma'am. I started in 2020. Well, like the main reason I started was like when COVID started, I transitioned from public school to um, homeschool. So, and I've always been like a social butterfly. So that um, it was trying to, was kind of a traumatic experience for me. Um, but my mom saw that whenever I finished my schoolwork, I had nothing productive to do. So she got me into acting classes and my coaches were saying that I was doing amazing and they referred me to some agents and the rest is history. Nice. Was acting something you thought about before or this was like a new like skill that you found out about? And I never really like thought about doing it. Honestly, no one in my family would think about doing it, but like, I'm grateful that my mom had the idea to get me um, in classes. Nice. So let's talk about your character, Isaiah Cole, that's in Let's uh, Let the Right One In. So tell me a little bit about Isaiah and then also his relationship to Anika Noni Rose's character. Isaiah is a 13 year old boy. He, um, he loves magic and he's not the most favored in school because he's into things that not many other people like. So they bully him for that. And his connection to Anika's character, Naomi, is he loves his mom. It's just he doesn't get to spend as much time with her as he would like because he she works as a homicide detective. So she's at work most of the time and his dad is in and out of his life so he doesn't really have like a person to like connect with or bond with until he meets Eleanor. Were you at all like nervous working with Anika? Like how did you feel coming into the project? I've always been like a social butterfly so um, it wasn't that hard connecting with Anika because she has amazing motherly instincts so much so that she reminds me of my mother with all the, with her being so supportive and loving and caring. She was an amazing person to work with on set and just lovely all around. Nice. Where Did you guys um, have any like favorite moments on set? Everyone's favorite moment was like going to Coney Island. That was like everyone's favorite moment because that day, those two days were just really fun. Even though it was tremendously cold, really <laughs> fun. And were you guys shooting or was this like a like an off day? You guys all just went to Coney Island. That was a shooting day. So let's talk a little bit more about like the role of Isaiah. Was it, uh, did you find any part of playing this role challenging for you or do you feel like you related to him in the sense? I did feel like I related to him. So like when I was growing up, I wasn't just belittled um, by students in school, but I was also um, bullied by administrators. Um, and I was labeled as being like the hyper kid, the kid that talked too much. And I feel like I kind of connect to Isaiah in that sense because I we, we were both bullied um in school and I feel like we are both like really emotional children so I feel like he was definitely like a really good role for me I'm so sorry to hear that I'm glad that you know your journey is a lot more positive though now so I am happy that you're doing well in your acting and I would love to before we hop into like what you're doing next I want to talk a little bit about vampires in general like were you like a vampire film lover before this or like do you have a favorite vampire movie or character honestly before this i don't even know if i knew what a vampire was like i knew what it was <laughs> but i didn't watch many movies about it because 
Um, before this, I was always, uh, well, like not, um, I was always into, and I still am, um, I, I really love sitcoms. Like my favorite um, sitcom is like Blackish and TV show Stranger Things. And I, those were like the two main things that I watched. Nice. Okay. I love Stranger Things as well. So yeah. for you, I know that you're really into science and technology. So what for you would be like an ideal role that dealt with like science and tech in any way? I guess the Matrix, because I feel like that um, was a really good trilogy. Well, there are four movies now, but I really did like all the Matrix, Matrix movies. And this isn't one that really has to do with um, sci-fi, but I really do love Marvel movies, so that's my favorite um, franchise ever. I would love to be in one. I just love all of their movies. Well, thank you so much for your time. Before we hop off, I would love to hear like what you're working on now and some things that we might um, need to look out for in the future. After I wrapped Let That I Went In, I finished a feature film called I Saw the TV Glow and that's uh, produced by A24 and that's supposed to premiere early 2023 so I'm getting ready for that. Other than that I'm enjoying the great city of New York auditioning and getting ready for pilot season. Awesome well I wish you the best I can't wait till I see you in a Marvel movie one day and um, until next time you know keep doing what you're doing.